Okay, welcome back. This is part 12, I believe it is, of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. And in the last video, we, for the most part, finished up with the registration code, but we are getting some errors, and uh, now we're going to fix those errors. Now, this first error right here um, is because um, it's not connecting to my database, uh, because my database is, in fact, online. So, for some reason, local hosts have a problem. Well, if you're running a, a server off your computer, um, it, you'll, you'll likely have this error if you're using a paid host and trying to connect to a, a, a legitimate online server database. Uh, so that will auto, that will go away once we um, uh, um, upload the file and everything. And this other line right here, it says fatal error on line 9. And that is because I spelled uh, select wrong in MySQL select DB. So, yeah. Um, so actually, I need to stop that. That's the video from the other one. So I blanked out my information, and right here, you can see it says select, except there's a D in there. So you want to get rid of that D and uh, make sure all your information is filled in properly. And then you want to FTP the file up. And also another problem that I was getting, which uh, it didn't actually show the problem, uh, because it was only getting it on my server, is that I forgot to FTP my connect file up. So huge fail on my part. <clears throat> so yeah, um, so I went ahead and I already uh, changed this and FTP'd the file up. So I am going to uh, just come over here and there we go. So I went ahead and closed the file. Um, so if I now I'm just gonna uh, re put in all my info. So. Um, username is basic nick, email, password, I spelled that wrong, okay, and for now I'm just going to leave all this stuff blank, I'm going to click register, and you can see right there, Chrome wants to try to save my password, because Chrome is like that, I'm always asking, um, so thank you for registering, you must now activate your account through the activation email that has been sent to and then the email I registered with. And then you can contact if it's having problems, blah, blah, blah. So that's the message I put out. So now, if I was to open up my email, um, which I may do, I may not, um, but actually I think I will. I'm going to go ahead and open up my email and open up that message, and I'll be right back. Okay, so you can see here that this is the activation email that was sent uh, from my account. I'm on my Gmail account right here, which is where I sent it. So it says it's from basic Nick to me, and then this is our message that we put in. And click here to activate your account. So if I click here, because it's Gmail, it's going to open it up in a new page. And this is the URL I put in. And this right here is obviously my activation code. So I'm going to go ahead and close my Gmail. And I'm going to try to get this to actually load. Now it's going to give me an error, in a 404 error, because I have not created this activate page yet. So you can see right here, 404 error, error. Uh, well, page not found, which is the 404 error. So that concludes our user registration process. Um, so that's pretty much the yes. Yeah, so that's the end of the user registration process. In the next video, which uh, will be uh, very soon, uh, well, I'm just going to start on it now. Um, in the next video, we will begin our uh, user activation, um, and then we will do our user login. So, yeah, um, so that should hopefully only take like a couple of videos each. Hopefully, I'll never know. Um, so, so all right. Um, so check out the next part of the series, which we will be doing our email activation.